All right, inspired by um, Taste of Trini's uh, pre-Christmas um, videos, um, uh, mainly around uh, the making of black cake, I was introduced to the concept of Caribbean sorrel. Of course, in the Western countries, sorrel is an entirely different thing. It's um, a ground plant with a rather sour taste. Uh, and it is uh, used for, in particular in the Northern Hemisphere, it's used for uh, um, for um, uh, making a sorrel soup. However, this sorrel is entirely different. It comes from the uh, hibiscus plant and it is infused with uh, warm Christmassy type spices to make this amazing, uh, amazing sorrel concentrate in this case. This one's from Barron. Uh, who, are, who have quite a nice reputation and as you can see from the top I've already taken a sample as has my brother and we both rather like it but I'm just going to take a little test uh, just to, to to remind myself of the flavour. So there we go, I've, I've used it like a cordial and mixed it up with the, a bit of my uh, water and I'm just going to try that now. Mmm um. That I can't really find, I can't really compare it to anything we have in the West. The spices, like I said before, are warm. Uh, the warm spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, that, those kind of spices, flavours, maybe cloves, a little hint of clove in that. But it's a kind of sweet sour taste ever so slightly but not very much reminiscent of the flavour of rhubarb. Um, I have to say I'm rather enamoured with it, I really do like it and I can understand how it has become very much a part uh, of the flavours of Christmas in the Caribbean and, and um, uh, in particular uh, I've, I've seen Taste of Trini uh, use Sorrel, in fact, make her own sorrel concentrate. My opinion on it is it's a big thumbs up, and I hope you give this video a thumbs up as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.